Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is little Dot. Get over here. You want this? Come on. Come on. She is. She's being a little shy. The little kitty is jumping up on the refrigerator and is going to the high ledge near the ceiling so he can peer down on us. And uh, that's got Dot a little bit flummoxed this morning. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is our brief daily message of hope. And uh, it's been a while since I've uh, been broadcasting. I thought I had a, uh, a small little sinus infection last week, and uh, it blossomed into a full-blown sinus problem and a bronchial problem, and I'm mostly over it now. I do not have COVID. I do not have the flu. I do not have any fever. Um, I've just got a stopped-up head and sinuses, and my throat's clearing out. So it's getting better. Uh, but we're going to press on uh, in the, the knowledge and love and the joy of the Lord. That's uh, still our strength. And, uh, at Mass today, I'll be saying Mass in just a few hours here, I guess, uh, and hearing confessions. Uh, Jesus tells his apostles that uh, until heaven and earth pass away, not one little stroke or, or dot of the law will pass away until all is accomplished. He did not come to destroy the law, he said, but to fulfill it. And I've pondered most of my life what uh, uh, the fulfillment of all the laws would be, how they are fulfilled. Now, they're fulfilled when we keep them and observe them and do so with great joy. So what would the world look like? What would we look like if the law was fulfilled in us? I think it would look a whole lot like the kingdom of God. And that's where we're headed. He is training us even today for where we will spend eternity. And so have a blessed day today. I'm getting ready to get out and about. And I've been thinking this morning of a, of a song, an old hymn, not just a 19th century hymn. This was written in the 8th century by St. John of Damascus. And in the 19th century was... Uh, uh, translated into English by John Mason Neal called The Day of Resurrection. God bless you.